I guess just do the intro when you're ready. Welcome everybody to video number two of the Iberian Alliance, where Spain and Portugal will try to take over the world in some way. It's by you once again with Carl the Duck. We are here to win at Civilization IV Beyond the Sword. In the first video, I think I plopped down about five cities, but I'm almost out of space. And Carl the Duck, why don't you say what you've been doing? Yeah, I have I was settling a whole <laughs> bunch and basically trying to take all the resources in this jungle south to me and I'm going to launch it now. And I think I, I have a bit of land to my south and there's like some coastal land that could maybe support or two to my west. In Madrid, I'm trying to build the hanging gardens. Hopefully I'll be able to pull that off. I don't have stone, but I might be able to build that aqueduct in the hanging gardens real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six cities. How many do you have? Seven. Okay. Well, hit it. Hit, uh, mm -hmm. it says it's waiting for you. Uh, I'm going to cancel deals with the Mali. Actually, I don't think I have anything worthwhile for them, so I'm just going to cancel. All I'm doing is open borders, and I'm okay with canceling. Yeah, it seem, seems like Monza Musa is pretty hated for whatever reason. He's worst enemy of De Gaulle, Cyrus, Gilgamesh, and Pakal, so... that yeah. it, That's actually every AI, I believe. At least that I've met. Yeah, it's generally not a good idea to be friends with someone that everybody hates, right? Mm -hmm. He is what just... He's a, he is actually pleased with us, or with me, because... I adopted his religion because it was the only one that oh. spread to me. What did I just... what was I researching here? I didn't mean to change that. I was researching currency. Okay. I'm researching construction. <clears throat> I do have some, uh, ivory, so if I wanted to I could get war elephants, which... Probably wouldn't right. be a bad idea to go out into the world and I did I do see a barbarian Make city. Some ruins. Oh, that's where they've been coming from. Yeah. I guess I need to rebuild to my copper that. mine. I need to rebuild the copper mine that somebody sabotaged. I don't know who did that. Mm -hmm. You should be able to make demands of people when you catch their spies yeah because you know how they you know how they say your spy was caught causing trouble or something when they no. catch you you still do the same thing i'm not sure if i've ever had that happen but part of that is because i've never used spies really i've really figured out a good way to use spies i don't think yeah <clears throat> it takes so much income to do something serious. I mean, I, I'll do stuff like spread culture or mm -hmm. perform uh, counter um, counter operations, but that's about it. Yeah, I I like to just use them to, like, basically culture bomb their cities to try to flip them if they're really close. Yeah, not all you can do. Well, not all you can do, but you have a lot of points to do something more. Okay, I'm going for hanging gardens. See if I can get hanging gardens. 75 gold from monarchy? I don't think so, bud. Oh, somebody, first turn I tried on hanging gardens, somebody already got it. So, no more hanging gardens attempts. Not in this game, at least. Oh yeah, I just got the, the hanging gardens has been built in a faraway land. Yeah. Wonder who built that. Mm-hmm. You feel like starting a war against anybody? No, although... 
Cause I, I do I do still have room to expand and okay. I have a place to get a city with some iron and incense and then I'm getting right. ready to settle a city way down to my south with wheat and gold and then another one with some rice and sugar on a coastal tile. Cause mainly I, I just I need like a coastal yet. city. Yeah. Ooh, there's one. There is an area up here with a bunch of gems and some rice. If that, if no one's taken that yet, I need to go grab that. Yeah, although Monza Musa is pretty close by to where you're talking about. Yeah, we might have gotten it already. I think it might be waiting gonna... on you. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna pop out a settler and a an, an archer real quick. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. Was I building an ocean? No. Yeah, this is perfect. Oh man, I hope nobody's taking this spot yet. It's three gems and a rice and a fish in the footprint of the city. Yeah, that Let's see if is got it yet. really good. I don't think anybody has it because I'm getting close to that footprint and I'm not running into a border. I'm not running into a uh, another nation's border here. Okay. And I got my copper rebuilt. That's some butthole sabotaged. I don't have a granary in Madrid yet. I'm going to build myself a granary. That's definitely not a bad idea. Really dig the theme that's playing right now. I can't hear anything. You have your music on? I I don't know. I think I might have turned it off for whatever reason. Okay. Okay, no one has to take that fall. And there's not... It doesn't, I don't see a national... I don't see anybody's borders nearby. I'm gonna take it. Okay. It's still, it's pretty far away from my nearest city, but... I kinda don't like to skip like that. Mm -hmm. Build, like, way far away from where I am. But I kinda, sometimes you have to do that. Yeah. Sometimes you have no choice. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go right here. Oh yeah, I just I was trying to capture a barbarian city, but I forgot that if you take a city with one population it just gets raised. Just destroys oh, well. it. Yeah, oh well. You know what I really hate is when I do all the work to like to uh, whittle the archers in a barbarian city down, and then an AI takes it. Yeah. Like if I wear the city down, and oh, that, that drives me nuts. Mm -hmm. oh, well, at, <laughs> least, at least the barbarians near my empire should at least start or start appearing a lot less because there's no city spawning them. I am going for the Colossus. I got to make it. It's 12 turns. I hope I can get it. I've got copper, but I'm not an industrious sieve. Okay. We'll see if I can get myself the Colossus. I actually don't have that many water tiles in my empire, but the Colossus is still nice to have for the great merchant. Mm-hmm. Seven forty AD. I don't think anybody's discovered towers in yet. Yeah, I don't think so. All I got was Hinduism. I don't think I got the building yet. Did I get the building? Yes, I did get the building. Even though I've got the Hinduism building, it's still uh, still only sixty percent science. I think okay. it's waiting on you. Not sure 
how I want to use this great scientist. So Living think... academy ship? No. Not. Might actually have him join the city, possibly. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna have him just research compass for me. I do, usually don't do that until late in the game because I feel like if you build an academy or have them join a city over time, they they produce enough to where it's worth it to do that instead yeah. of instead of just rushing the research. Mm -hmm. Though he he was gonna instantly discover it, and I hadn't like started researching it all, so I thought it was worth it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put a city on a like a corner plot next to the ocean, so that also it's a good place for the Moy statues. Okay. The better, the more water tiles in your city, that's the better place for for that wonder. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna have these archers explore that. I still have like a big black spot near near my uh, empire. Oh God, damn it! Mon did Monza Musa just take that plot? Let's look. Mm -hmm. Man, when they get there like one turn before you, that just that drives me so nuts. That just drives me insane. Oh, Talism just got founded, and I was gonna, I was gonna check on Monza Musa to see how far ahead he was by going to the trade mm -hmm. screen and seeing his text. But he doesn't want to talk to me, even though he's yeah. pleased. When you cancel your trades, they seems like they don't want to talk for a long time. Yeah. They feel like it's more than ten turns. Mm-hmm. I need another worker. Another worker, big time. Yeah, I, I have one, two, three, four... Yeah, four of them, because I have a lot of unimproved plots in my land, so that's with lots of resources, so that's my number one priority. I have this city now in the jungle with a bunch of jungle around it, and I need I need some workers to just go jungle cutting big time. Mm -hmm. Okay. We potentially have a spot for one more city. That's going to do it for the expansion after I get that one. Okay. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, empty land here where I think this might be where Gilgamesh is, but uh, or at least in part of it, but there's still a lot of land that I think I'll be able to grab up. Yeah. No, I didn't get the Colossus. Someone else built it. Uh, Crap. I started, I took too long to start, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not a huge loss for me. Uh, I'm going to adopt serfdom. I don't have aesthetics yet. Actually, nobody's built the Parthenon or the Statue of Zeus yet. Wow. Or the Shadwigan Pyre, which I feel like is pretty rare. Yeah. I feel like usually those get built pretty quickly. I just At least Parthenon. Mm -hmm. I just remembered I built the pyramids so I can move away. Change to religions else. or change uh government. Change religious civs. Oh wait, go uh yeah the, the py pyramids. The pyramid yeah, the pyramids unlocks government. all government. Okay. Although there's nothing in particular that I need, so I guess I'm just gonna switch to hereditary mm -hmm. rule because. I might need it one yeah. day, and I'll probably forget about oh, it. Oh, you don't have monarchy yet? I don't actually You don't already do have I. monarchy? No, I don't have monarchy. Oh, wow. Apparently.
I need lot. I just need lots more like archer, spearmen, and axemen just to fill out the defense of my cities. Yeah, I. I just have an archer and an axeman in most of my cities, because I still have yet to build most of these plantations. So I don't have to. The goal is Amaya... free corn. A Maya spy just got stumbled upon, so I wonder if Good. they're the ones that sabotaged you. Could be. I just gave he did Gaul pull ahead to first wheat or corn. Let's see what if I can buy anything from him. No, there's nothing that worth it. But I haven't really done much trading, so I feel like it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe see what they can give me uh, you know what the Monza Musa just take took a plot I had my eye on okay. uh, so much for expanding in that area or he took he took something near where I was planning on going oops I didn't mean to try to contact you oh, okay. it looks like Cyrus has discovered philosophy but I just looked at all of the AI and it seems like I'm mostly technologically ahead yeah wow Monza Musa still won't talk to us yeah or he won't talk to me under we might have to go to war with him or or if he I might want to go to war with the Gaul because he's got cities where I really wish I could expand yeah I mean, I feel like when Monza Moose is apparently everyone's worst enemy, I feel like it's only a matter of time before everyone declares war on him and then asks yeah. you to declare war on him too. Yeah. I might want to might want to start putting some war elephants on my border with him. Possibly. I don't have any ivory. I do have horses though. Gilgamesh wants to give me monarchy and 60 gold for construction, which I think is a pretty good deal. It's pretty good. One of the few times that the AI actually understand how to offer a good deal, basically. Yeah. Sometimes they'll offer you like 20 for philosophy and you just say, no, sir. Not interested. Sorry. So now Monza Musa no wants me to cancel my deals with De Gaulle, which I don't think so. Oh, he has machinery, although I'm researching that right now, so... Can I still get it from you, just for horseback riding? Yeah. I need to start building horse archers. I'm gonna need some mounted units here. I'm starting to build stables so I can get some nice upgraded horse archers okay he's built a lot Nash the great library either now he Come on. and now after refusing to trade me machinery Monza Moose is offering it to me in exchange for currency and five gold which I don't think so yeah I wouldn't do that don't do him no favors like that Nah, he just offered me machinery and five gold for feudalism. He offered you machinery no, and what? For what? Five gold. Wait, no, he offered me... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe he offered me a good deal. Maybe I messed up just oh. now. I couldn't hear you because uh, there's a sound of like a forest growing. That was really loud. Oh, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? I just built a settler I can't use. I oh, because you don't have any land to put it on? Yeah. Well, there are a few spots where I could build a city that won't thrive. For instance, yeah. there's a place in the Arctic which has fish and whales, but I would only get to about a four population with that spot. Mm-hmm. I think you did mention that.
wonder if this, I see some floodplains that might not be taken. There's some clicking. Are you doing something with your mic? Oh yeah, I'm just clicking my headphones. Tapping, tapping your headphones. Yeah. I'm surprised that the mic is actually able to pick that up because I'm not tapping the mic oh, yeah. itself. You know, I just noticed Hinduism has spread to me, so I think I'm gonna convert because it looks like a lot of people are. Every, everyone except Mazza Musa appears to be one of your religions, which is good. Yeah. It is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cyrus and you Gilgamesh. Are, oh, and Gilgamesh are Hindu. De Gaulle is Confucianism. Mm -hmm. And so is Pakal. I'm going for Makino so I can get engineering so I can get the uh, the Citadel which is the Spanish building, building. And, uh, now my gold is finally starting to really go up so I I just need to start putting it into research because I'm only at 50%. Parthenon just got built. That's a little late. need machinery. I'm gonna get, get it in two turns if you want to trade for it, maybe. I'll trade for it if you'll trade me. Okay. Yeah, in two uh, turns. I guess I'll go I'll do that. Go for construction. This one city I have has even more floodplains than I initially realized, so I think it could potentially make a lot of money off of putting cottages there. Yeah. Maybe. Or it could just grow really big if I wanted to, but it's one population away from being sick, so might want to hold off yeah. on that. I do have this settler. I can. I found Those, a place I could theoretically plop them, but they're just going to be so crowded. I just if noticed I had that a great Cy artist. I noticed I that say, Cyrus got artist, feudalism. I, yeah, I've got feudalism. Yeah. As well. Uh, yeah, he doesn't want to trade it to me. He seems to be the only one that's technologically further than me. Yeah. Because even, even if I don't have tons of my gold going into research, I'm still researching things, I guess. Yeah, doing a trade for machinery now. Sure. Oh, well, I'll give you feudalism for machinery. Okay. I actually All right. just there started go. researching feudalism. So I guess I'm going to go to... I guess if I go to optics and I can start to, or I can train my unique unit and then send yeah. that out to explore the oceans, the Carrick. Okay. Now my workers should build things on the because I'm so far. Okay. Yeah. I'm 
Lisbon is celebrating We Love the Monarch Day, so... Nice. They are actually... Chicks, they only have one more happiness and then happiness. So I thought the cities had to be pretty happy to... Oh, they just celebrated it again, but... thought they did have to be pretty happy to do it. Okay, yeah. Guess I'm not really... Sure about that, though. Cyrus wants to give me aesthetics and 20 gold for compasses. No, that's, that's... a good deal. Okay. Um, I mean, I think that's a good deal. Yeah, I would say it is. And then he does not want to trade away philosophy. Yeah, Monza Moose has gone from pleased to annoyed. Now he wants yeah. open borders, but I don't think so. Yeah. Zeus or Shed Wigan Paya. Although that city doesn't have great production, so I don't think so. I'm building Shed Wigan Paya. I'm going to get it in one turn. Oh. Uh, Probably one of the least useful things, but I'm, I like the culture and the great prof profit ability there. Yeah, I, I do like being able to, or I do like free religion a lot. Towels and just spread to one of my cities. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. Bayou has completed the Shizwigan Paya, so... There that. And someone else built the Statue of Zeus, but I didn't see who. I'm going to start expanding Confucianism here as much as I can. Okay. Who did Statue of Zeus, did you see? No. Okay. Yeah, so should we and Pi, I can go to free religion right now if I want, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to, though, because the organized religion, being able to build all these buildings faster really helps. Okay. I don't really do, do uh, what's it called, free religion until I'm about to like, get into the space race, usually. Mm -hmm. I might ought to get organized religion, but I, I kind of like the low upkeep, because... Yeah, I want money, really. Yeah. Church of Nativity has been built. Did you get Christianity? Nope. Okay. The Gaul adopts vassalage. Also, he's going to the Gaul on me. I'm the most convenient target for him. Yeah. I have Longbowmen behind city walls where he would attack me. Hopefully he's... I also feel like I could negotiate some war alliances with uh, some of my neighbors. Mm -hmm. The Gaul's just cautious, me... cautious with me. He gave me... Uh, he gave me 140 gold for literature. Okay. Which is pretty good. Yeah, and he would be willing to stop trading with you. I just looked, yeah. so... He doesn't love me, I'm sure. He doesn't hate me either, it looks like. Yeah. I've noticed the Gaul, he's kind of treacherous sometimes. Like he doesn't necessarily need a good reason to attack you. Yeah. At least that's been my experience. Pakal would like some of my sugar, but... I reject your empty threats. But I'll give you sugar mm -hmm. for fur. Would you like that? Yes, he would. All you had to do was offer the fur in the first place, and I would have accepted it. Mm. I really didn't want to put these uh, settlers where I'm about to put them, but I don't, don't feel like I have a choice. Are you having to settle to a bad city? Yeah, it's okay. It's not going to be very prosperous, but I don't really have any other good... Slots that aren't mostly taken. 
Okay. I mean, there's a couple other places where this one's going to be, I guess, the best. I guess I'll put Moy statues there instead of here. Oh, a new barbarian city has popped up. It looks like. Where? Uh, to the south of me. Oh, I just gave Cyrus literature for free, and then I click on him, and he's way ahead of me in technology. A massive barbarian they... uprising is occurring. The Philistines have... And then the thing went away, but... Hopefully the barbarians aren't targeting me, because... Did, it, did you really... get a message, uh... Yeah, I just got oh, the you know what? the top of my screen. Because it says, if they're going to target you, it's, I think it says, we will take the Barbarian's Fury or something. Oh. Or we will, we will, I don't remember what the message is, but yeah, I think you would know if you were about to, if you're about to get hit. Okay. Alright, it's time to put a crossbowman in my cities here. I just got a great merchant, and I think I'm going to send it up to the Mayans and... Hopefully, I have it conduct a trade mission. Yeah. I'm gonna get yields, cause I like Just found a Murcia. Okay. So, around this, I have fish, whale, copper, and silver. But, like, that by itself is not gonna be enough to make it a prosperous city for sure. Yeah. Need to stick some military units in that city, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Wish I had a level four unit, then I could build my heroic epic. Oh, Monza Musa will finally talk to me again. He's annoyed. He cares. Yeah, he's he's been able to, to talk to me for a little while, but he doesn't like me at all anymore. At least he's yeah. not furious. Yeah. And he He's did not just get one a of the more engineer. treacherous guys, I don't think. Yeah. I wish I had a great artist right now, because one of my cities can't. It, uh, it's bumping up against Monza Musa, and I'm there's a gems that he's got that I wish I could get. Okay. Maybe I'll get a great artist here at some point. Culture bomb this city on my border. Mm -hmm. Pakal is sending two workers, or no, three workers through my empire, so I'm not sure what he has planned here. I don't know. I haven't really figured that out. It seems like sometimes you just want to build roads and stuff. Yeah. I guess I'll build a Hindu monastery here. I'll just figure out how to look at an event log. A event log, and yeah, the Philistines have gathered an army of spearmen and are on the march. So yeah, I feel like you would you would have seen them if they were targeting you. Mm -hmm. I just lost a communication to an army of ants. I need drama. Do you have drama? Do I have... I don't mean I need drama in my life. I need drama in the game. Uh, I do not have drama. Uh, the Netherlands have drama. They have theology, too. I haven't... Oh, Pakal settled a city way south of me, even though his empire is north, so... He was moving his workers through me to get to his city, so... Oh. I guess... I guess that does mean there is quite a bit of land down to my south. If he's oh, willing to, just... if he's willing to go down there and put a city. Somebody just beat me to the Great Library. They got it. Oh, wait, I'm just waiting on you. No biggie. Okay. I'm gonna try to build Angkor Wat since I'm gonna get a lot of priests. Well, at least I get money to upgrade my guys with. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. Got a great priest. Mm-hmm. This one has been founded by the uh, Mayans. Really? But they are, yeah, they already have religion, so I don't think <coughs> they're going to convert. And so far, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find what city I should send my great merchant to, and I think. I'm going to send it down to Barcelona with you. Okay. Do his trade send mission to get me lost. Uh, s- I don't wish... Send it to Madrid. It's further away. Yeah, well, but... Barcelona's one population higher. Yeah, and I think... Madrid's further away. They're barely... Uh, I don't think their distance is enough to make... Uh, Madrid... <laughs> Yeah, Where's right. that whore elephant? Right there. Yeah, the barbarians put their new city exactly one tile north of the one that I raised, so... Yeah. Hopefully I'm able to they keep this They didn't learn their one. lesson, huh? Confucianism is in 13 cities. Nice. Looks like uh, Hinduism is just barely the most dominant religion. Although it says that Confucianism is unknown to me about who founded it. But I do know. Interesting that they would it would say it's unknown. Yeah, I guess because I, I guess because I haven't actually found the city that it was founded in. I've just oh, like, so it. It. yeah, okay. That's that's weird, interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm, what do I want to build next? I don't know. this city. I'm just gonna build. Actually, I should probably be build another barracks and a spearman. And a crossbowman. I think all my cities have a spearman now. Okay. I'm gonna build a mine up here. In Santiago. I need culture at this one place. I'm going to culture bomb the city. So I can expand it. I'm running up against Manza Musa and I really want the gems that he's got. If you get a great artist, I'll trade like a great something else for it. Okay. You know, if you're interested. Mm-hmm. I guess we can gift each other the units or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not an official sanctioned trade or Oh, whatever. do you build the Apostolic Palace? I did not. I oh, bet so... the Gaul built it. Oh. Because he's the only Confucian state. No, my, the Yeah, Mayans it's the Gaul are. and Pakal are the... Oh, they are? Yeah, yeah oh, my, you're right. the Mayans are. I bet the Mayans, maybe it's the Mayans that built it. I guess I'll vote for De Gaulle since he's my neighbor. Should I can... Probably stay on his good side. If I look at the victory conditions screen, it looks like the Apostolic Palace was built by De Gaulle. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Angkor Wat, but it's gonna go pretty slowly here. Okay. Have you found uh, 
where Google Mesh is yet because I have not. No, I don't think I have now that but... you mention it. I wonder if he's maybe like south of the Persians because he's kind of far behind so I would imagine he's probably smushed in between some people. Yeah. In the meantime, has anyone dis discovered anything they'd like to give me? Hmm. Will you give me... Cyrus says he'll give me civil service for optics and the 170 gold, which I think, I think that's, that's a good idea. Good. I'm going to take it. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think you can take that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get engineering, which means I can get, uh, I can build my citadels everywhere. And it adds, like, I think it's 5 XP to, uh, to siege units. Okay. Something crazy like that. Pakal would like to give me theology for compass and 55 gold, which I also think is a good deal. Yeah, I think that, that sounds like it makes sense. If I wanted to, I could build the Hagia Sophia, but that would take quite a while. I'm just gonna build a Jewish temple in this one city. You, oh, you don't have um, what's it called, marble in this one? No, that turned out to be stone, and I just thought it was marble. Yeah. This city only okay. has two archers, and I have a war elephant, so hopefully I'm able to take it down. And it's funny because it has a road to the old ruins because of. How yeah. cities generate the roads when they get made. Yes. Oh, the Persians just took it. Never mind. Oh, the city. That's a bummer. Yeah. That's a big bummer. I guess I'm gonna go for drama. I can start, start building drama right now. I can start building knights now if I wanted to, but should I? Add? Yeah. Actually, no. I technically don't have iron yet, so I can't. But <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess if once I improve this iron here, I can. Which the Mayans okay. are just building roads all over, so they actually built a road there for me. Nice. That was very nice of them. Gonna... Gonna... Waiting on you. Yeah, I was trying to tell some of my war elephants to stop going to the city oh, okay. because Got I don't it. need them to anymore. And yeah, you build the mine on the iron, and then I'm not building any more war elephants. I'm not, and I don't appear to have any more. Walking through the territory. I'm gonna build a mine where there's a forested hill. Hopefully that'll get me Angkor Wat. Uh, Cyrus wants me to cancel deals with the Mali again. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I think that might not be a wise thing to do. We trade new world maps? No, they, they almost never trade new world maps unless they're kind of worthless. Yeah. I just got engineering for guilds from Monza Muso, which they have the nice. exact same science value, so there's no gold needed. Okay, I need a theater on that city that's bordering Monza Muso tightly. Mm -hmm. I should, probably should build, I want to build one also where I'm bordering De Gaulle. Actually, uh, I wonder if I could get open borders from him, because... From De Gaulle? No, uh, Monza Musa. And now, De Gaulle's okay. offering me literature and 220 gold for compass, which... I guess I'm going to accept it, because 
he's far behind, so I don't really feel like I have to worry about him maybe getting ahead because of that. I did just get open borders for Monza Musa, so I'm going to send in some horses to scout out the land, because I'm kind of interested in potentially going to war with him, although he is actually putting some troops in this city near me, so might yeah. have to worry about him going to war with me. You built University of San Coriette. Now he wants me to cancel my deals with the Maya, which I'm not going to. But he's no longer the worst enemies of Pakal and um, Gilgamesh, just De Gaulle and Cyrus. So that's interesting. Yeah. Was oh, that your merchant, I see? Yeah, I believe so. Where all should I improve? City needs more population, so I'm gonna build a farm. I found Timbuktu. It's not time to just send my horses around. To scout him out. I'm starting to spend my gold to upgrade units here. I should pro I'll probably use the gold from this trade mission to do it. Upgrade your bolt, your archers to longbowmen and all that stuff. Yeah. It's going to give me 1,100 gold from going to Barcelona. <laughs> okay. Waiting on you. I don't know if that's a spice tile or if the spices from the tile next to this is just spilling over. But I hope that is not a spice tile. It's too bad. I've oh, discovered paper. Discovered paper. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, paper. Yeah, Monza Musa doesn't seem to have a very big empire of... I'm going to get... Or I see four of his cities, and... I don't see much of his borders other than that. Yeah. I decided to start building out my spy network here. Cyrus built Notre Dame. That feels kind of quick. Yeah, it, it seems he like He is this. pulling ahead in terms of attack paper. In terms of score. You give me... Will you give me philosophy for guilds? It's interesting, because guilds is more valuable than philosophy. What about paper and... Oh, you don't have gold. Speaking of gold, I should go back and upgrade my units. Yoga Mesh wants to be my vessel. Oh. Okay then. And he's um, also he's offering me philosophy for engineering and Oh, that's definitely not worth it. I'm not giving you five hundred gold for engineering. Or five hundred gold and engineering for just um the one thing. Okay, so I just got Gilgamesh's world map. Let me see where he is. Oh, he's... Oh, you know what? I had Gilgamesh mixed up with uh, the Gaul. Gilgamesh actually is right next to me. Oh. I, for some reason, I thought he was... Uh, the colors are so similar that I couldn't tell them apart. Yeah. But yeah, Gilgamesh is, uh, he's right to the northeast of me. Like a great big blob with all his cities. Okay. His cities aren't in very good shape. He's only got, he's got one city that's 11. That's his largest city. And then 
the rest of them are small. I don't know why. It seems to have good resources. Mm -hmm. I guess that's another potential ally if we were to theoretically go to war with Monza Musa. Mm hmm. Robot? Do you want to see if we can trade anything? Yes. What do you want? Do you want music or I'll for give you paper? music for paper. Alright. Actually, I'm almost done with getting music. Uh -huh. I have, uh... I have... Uh, let me see. How about... Um... How about philosophy and paper for guilds and music? I'm halfway done with music. Okay. Okay, that's And then doing a trade of world maps, too. That way we can see yeah. each other's things. Sure. Alright, world map. I got yours. Well, I can get gunpowder now if Pacifism. I want. Pacifism. Let's do that for no upkeep. And what does support cost for military unit mean? That means it's one gold for every military unit you've got. Uh, oh yeah, I can see most of the world now. So it looks like, yeah. or it looks like the Gaul is not. Yeah, you can barely tell the Ga the Gaul and Gilgamesh apart, but looks like the Gaul yeah. maybe doesn't have the most stuff. Mm, I just traded for rice, even though I didn't need it. Didn't I? Okay. So we all just gone. Oh, where's all my money from? I'm getting I'm so many gonna... like happiness type events because well, there's the normal we love the monarch day, and then I also got the anarchy is over thing. I just looked at my income, and I'm suddenly like down really far compared to where I used to be. Mm. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Because I have citadels in a lot of the cities, so my, my economy should be pretty good. <laughs> Cyrus is putting a few troops on my border, although he is pleased with me, but I'll try to trade a little more with him to hopefully get his relationship up. He will give me some. going for pacifism. Uh, spices, I think, I gave him. Yeah, I adopted pacifism because it will give me a little bit more gold because of the no I upkeep and support cost. Well, I think I'm going to do it for the great persons, the great people. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, a nice side effect. If I build a couple more wonders, I'm going to have that. Just built a carrick, but I'm going to... I'm going to wait until I build an explorer for it, that way I can explore whatever lands I find, but I guess the age of exploration is about to begin in 1370. Yeah. It's about a hundred years early compared to real life. Yes. It seems like some of these event, some of the events consistently are later than real life and then some of them are sooner. Yeah. Couple of my cities doing stuff like uh, research. But yeah, it really doesn't look like Monza Musa has a very big empire. So I think if we wanted to invade him, it wouldn't be too hard. Not sure what I want to do, but I think the university. Yeah, see. If you take the west side, I could take the, a couple cities in the east. Yeah. I think I... I'm, I might move some of my uh, troops over from the western side of my empire because mm -hmm. there's nothing really threatening me there. Okay. Where all do I need to put improvements? How about farm there and you can return home. I'm 
these guys will also build farms, because I need population in these two cities. Mazumu says demanding drama. And I'll give it to him, because drama is cheap, and also it doesn't, like, do anything special. And I'm not gonna give the best deal, that's true. Uh, ooh, great engineer. Yes. Persia has a I pretty big empire, but... Actually, a few of these are actually Mayan cities that, for some reason, he settled, but, uh... Well, yeah, Persia does it? seem to have, like, a bunch of, uh... Small little cities. I sure wouldn't mind having a bunch of gold. Mm -hmm. Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh has nothing good at all. Yeah. There's nothing to trade. Though I guess just... it's no point in turning down a vassal, really. Because you can at least use him as a military ally and just yeah visibility kind of does seem like that that it's it makes sense to always accept a vassal mm -hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna rush the university of saint core with my uh with my engineer works mm -hmm. take it So I've got Angkor Wat, and I'm going to get the music to change four. I think I'm going to switch the classic version once I've got all that stuff. And then the idea is I can, uh, I can get those great people piling up. I need to turn down, uh, my, like, volume, because, uh, Why? every time, it feels like every time you say something, one of those events just, like, pops on and is really loud. Hmm. Interesting. Weird. Okay. Actually, the reason why I didn't have much music is because I turned that down, so I'm gonna turn it a little up. I'm trying to get some decent gold here. Monza Moose is only the worst enemy of De Gaulle now, so I guess he's managed to sort out his relationships or whatever. Our research have made it, researchers have made a technological breakthrough, rapidly advancing their progress. 252 light bulbs towards education. Hit the hooray. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. Noise. Looks like the Gaul's pretty far behind, and Monza Moose is not that far. I decide to check up on everyone to see if they'd want to trade me anything, which they wouldn't, sadly. Mercantilism. One free specialist per city, but also no foreign trade routes. So I, don't I don't go for mercantilism. Yeah, I usually go free market and then as soon as I can go state property because the no maintenance costs the 10% production in all cities and the food from workshops yeah. and water mills is all really nice let's get gunpowder it is nice isn't it and hopefully I can use guns against uh, Monza Musa and also I'm gonna Tell my Carrick to, I guess, see if you can try to circumnavigate the world just as an easy order, but I was going to try to tell it to go to the eastern end of uh, Gilgamesh's empire, but the orders mm -hmm. wouldn't actually go around the globe, so I'm going to tell him to go there in, the, in what's probably... Either an island or the middle of an ocean. So yeah, we still need to find the islands that are on the big and small map. Oh yeah. Which I wonder... There's a really big empty spot in Monza Musa's empire. 
Is there another city yeah. there? There is, yeah, N Niani, so... If I were to go to war with him, I might want to take Gao and Niani. Yeah. I'm not really sure if I'm... Or I don't think... I'm definitely not strong enough to do that right now. Yeah. Oh, I flipped my tiles I was hoping for. Yes. That's why I got a huge income boost, like, a couple turns ago. Oh. It's because I, I just picked up two gems. If I two wanted gem to... tiles. Might be able to rush a military tradition for uh Kirasaurs and then um eventually cavalry. Yeah. And also I need yeah, siege a, units too. I'm gonna build a crap ton of siege units here. Yeah. I'm gonna build like I'm gonna build I think sixteen of them. Yeah. So notice the AI's favorite strategy is to use uh, their collateral damage feature to just wear down your cities, which that works. It works, man. Thing is, you need a lot of siege units, which I don't know. You do end up killing a whole lot of your own units to do it. Yes, those siege units are expensive too. I'm back well, up to sixty percent on my research, though. So that's I'm up good. to sixty as well. I think I might start stockpiling military units to attack. Uh, what's this face? Monza to Musa. Monza Musa. Because also we can probably get Cyrus to attack him. And possibly Pakal. But Gilgamesh, who won't do? Uh, he won't be any use. Yeah. Possibly Pakal, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'll take. I'll try to take a city or two. I mean, we I could I'll get to, if I have. I've we got could, a lot of. I'm gonna. We I'm could just gonna ask. Say my siege weapons are awesome. Yeah, we could ask the goal, but he's far away. Yeah. Yeah, Gao. Huh. Gao does have quite a few military units, but um, so I. But a lot of them are actually siege units, which is a little concerning. Not good for defending. Yeah. What do you need to get uh defensive packs with people? Um, military tradition. Oh, uh, so. And you can start doing defensive packs. Yeah, I could just build up uh, my cities near. Monza Musa and wait for him to attack me if I wanted to. Yeah. I'm switching to... Actually, I'm not going to switch to pacifism now unless I start stockpiling the military. Yeah. I'm going to start moving units away from my borders that I don't really need to uh, fortify so basically like my western area of my empire here let's get a mine mm, barbarian city was captured by the dutch hmm. yeah who cares yeah I still haven't met the dutch You haven't met them? No. Where are they? I'm surprised to hear that. They are way over to the east. Um, oh, we haven't met the Koreans yet, but I have the Koreans on my map. Hmm. That's funny. I guess... Uh, anyway, the, they're on a different continent, the Dutch okay. are. Yeah, they Gilgamesh sent, they must have must sent have a ship. the Koreans. Yeah. I mean, I, I've started to send my boat out into the ocean, so I might meet some new friends soon. Well, I guess, do we want... Should I build trebuchets or catapults? Because... Hmm. 
I think trebuchets because they do more city attack. Yeah. And that's mostly what once I'm... I get once I can get trebuchets, I build almost exclusively those. Yeah. I'm in the Renaissance. Not quite there. I am getting some city defense longbowmen on my borders with uh, Monza Musa mm -hmm. just in case he decides to make the first move. Yeah. So, if you are Isabella and you have citadels and barracks, your siege units start with 8 FP. Pretty nuts. Okay. If I wanted to, I could uh, go to Vassalage for a little bit more XP, but I don't think so. And I could also go to police hmm. state because of the pyramids for more military unit production, oh. but I don't think so. You know, I could get my thing. I could start my siege units on the with three upgrades if I do vassalage. Hmm. Be pretty pretty nuts. Yeah. Of course, it's high upkeep. Bureaucracy is better economics. I think I'll stay with bureaucracy. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't go to bureaucracy because it it only affects the capital and it's high upkeep but I might. yeah but dang it really has a big impact yeah but yeah I, you're right it's it has its downsides too but call would like to have philosophy for free which i don't really want to give him and say blame you I guess I should probably just start building cottages to improve my economy. Yeah. I'm going to upgrade you with collateral damage. That's what we care about. Oh, I just got another I great version. But I might... I do both collateral damage and uh, city attack. I like both. Yeah, because I don't, I don't have... Um, I can't yeah. have all those promotions. I'm not sure if I want to send my great merchant on a trade mission or just have him join the city. I might um, get a bank for more money. I usually do trade missions if I have a lot of units to upgrade, like with gold. And I'll, I'll have him join a city maybe later in the game, or, or if I don't need gold. If I don't need a ton of gold, I should say. I think I'm going to send him to Uruk for okay. some money. And build a cottage for some more money. Don't have a lot of cottages out there yet? No, because I've mostly just been building plantations and camps for most of the time. I sun. pretty much always abstain in those elections unless, uh, like, unless there's somebody who I'm really good buddies with. Okay. Manzamusa is putting two knights on my border. Although, not even where I've been putting my military units. Which is kind of interesting. Do you have any, ch do you by chance have any, um, buildings that produce a great artist? I like, don't... are you produce, are you, can you potentially produce a great artist somewhere? I don't know. What do you, what does produce great artists? Um, the, uh, let's see. Oh, theaters, mm, I think. Does Notre Dame do it? Or is Notre Dame an engineer? I don't know. Uh, the Globe Theater does. Uh, I want to say the, the Heroic Epic and the National Epic do it. Um, I think the... Uh, does the Parthenon do it? I think the Parthenon makes a great artist. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have any of those. I guess I don't need one that badly. My boats have found some islands, but 
this island is just a mountain with four jungle tiles surrounding it, and then there's some one tile islands. I guess I could settle these if I really wanted more cities and lands, but I don't need to. I could build some knights now. Okay. Knights are good for attacking cities because they more or less bypass the first strike of the archers. Mm -hmm. It's waiting on you, by the way. Oh, sorry about that. We'll wrap up this game session here in a couple minutes. Yeah. I'm now in the. I have stone in my. I have stone in my territory now, but I can't do much with it because there's not that. I don't think I, there's any wonders left that use stone. Maybe there are. Yeah. I'm not sure oh, if I should build Musketman Knights or uh, more Siege Units, I think. I would I'm say gonna get Siege some... Units, it, it's like you can never have enough of those. Yeah, but I think I do want to have some Musketmen to maybe stay around to defend the cities. And yeah, defend my yeah you need cities. that too. I wonder if Monza Musa is looking across his border at all of these uh, trebuchets being piled up, thinking, uh-oh. Yeah, like I said, he does have a couple of knights on my border, and I see one of his trebuchets in his territory, so... Yeah. I think it's possible he's preparing to strike back at me. Maybe. When I go to war with them, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have like two arm, two massive legions going after two different cities. And then if I can get, if I can get those, maybe I can go destroy his capital. Mm -hmm. Like I might, I might sack Timbuktu and just wreck it. Yeah. Because if I don't, then I can't hang on to the cities I'm thinking about taking because the, the culture will shift them back. Yeah. Annoying when it happens. Not, not these cities that aren't really building anything particularly useful. I think I'm gonna switch them over to trebuchets. Although, this is gonna take a while for a lot of them. Or it's possible if you declare war first and then we wait a few turns, you'll draw some troops away and then I'll be able to. I was in. thinking of it. Let me see if Cyrus would do it right now. Declare what Cyrus will not do it. Would Pakal do it? We just don't like you enough. So Cyrus would maybe will not help us. Mm -hmm. All right, why don't we uh, why don't we play one more turn, wrap it up here? Okay. About time to do it. Yeah, I haven't really been paying attention to how long this has been going about, on. Uh, we maybe forty-five minutes. If I'm not okay. mistaken. I guess we'll find out when we quit. Yeah. Just gonna get a few more or one cottage down and nearly circumnavigated the globe here very close okay i'm gonna save it and quit out of here well everybody thank you on youtube for tuning in appreciate it this has been i and carl the duck in the next episode we will go maybe into the industrial era and beyond mm -hmm.
everybody take fight care. Lots of Musa. Yeah. Goodbye. And yes, we'll have we'll finally have an exciting war. Goodbye and remember to like and subscribe and all of that stuff. Yes, as everybody said.